Hey, my name is Dr. Knott. Welcome back to A Skeptic's Guide to Magic. Let's continue because now we're in Chapter 4, Skeptical Magic. Let's do it. So last time we initiated, now we're going to answer the phone. Even though we ended up in our own bed. Weird. Hmm? Heck of a way to answer the phone, Lester. I just woke up. What is it? Well, I know you're still on leave, but I wanted to pick your brain about something. What do you know about Ditsany of Crete? It's a plant, isn't it? Yeah, I know that much already. What else can you tell me about it? It's from Crete? <sighs> You're not being very helpful, Lester. Botany isn't my specialty. But don't you tell me what this is about? That ritual killing. We got the lab analysis back on the charred plant matter we recovered from the murder scene. They say it's a combination of Ditney and Deadly Nightshade. Interesting combination. Yeah, not exactly your usual household flora. Sorry I can't be of more help, Karen. Suppose it was a long shot. I probably shouldn't have bothered you. I had this. I had this dream about you last night. Maybe that's part of the reason I felt the urge to call. I sort of had a dream about you too. Do you think I should... Can I come over tonight at your place? Oh yeah. Blaster. I'm not sure that would be such a good idea at the moment, Karen. Yeah, you're probably right. Take care. Come on, Lester. Ditney of Crete. I can think of a couple of people who might know something about that plant. I wonder if Fee is at home right now. Let's just go over to her house and see instead of calling and checking up. But I guess maybe we don't have her phone number. What the hell is this? A thermos and a package. Looks like there's a note as well. Can I read the note? No, I can't read the note. Dad, knocked on the door, but you must have been sleeping. Didn't want to just barge in again. I made you some tea and some sandwiches. Please make sure to eat and drink. Have a great day. Love, Kim. She's a good girl. Is that, like, in my inventory now? Sandwiches. And thermos of tea. Nice. You better eat and drink, Lester. I haven't seen you eat and drink this whole time. And us, we're just gonna go over to Fee's house. Fee's flat well on the other side of Birmingham. Birmingham, Birmingham. This music volume ranges from all over the place, I'll tell you what. Oh, perfect. Oh, hey. We've got to stop meeting like this, Lester. People always thought to people will start to talk. Hmm. We've got a new lead in the case. Oh yeah? Whatever ritual was performed at the house that night involved both Deadly Nightshade and Ditney of Crete. Hmm, that could be useful. Me and Val can look through those pages of Liber Magicae Primordialis and see which spells call for those two ingredients. Nice work, Lester. Meanwhile, I can work a different angle. Do you have any idea where Jason would have got his hands on some Ditney of Crete? I guess you could try Belladonna. That's a shop specializing in magical herbs. There's really that much of a market for this kind of thing? You'd be surprised. Oh yeah. You should also head over to the Magic Circle at some point today. I asked Peter to set aside a book that might interest you. Talk to him. Alright then, I'm gonna go pick up Val and bring her back here for some study time. Have fun, Lester. Study time? Why were those words in italics? I'll need to look up the address of that magical herbalist. Hey, no worries, I got a thing for that. Belladonna, she said. Ah, here, it's not far from the magic circle. Belladonna, rare herbs and teas for the discerning customer. 101 Carpenter Road, Agveston, Birmingham, B152WC. Okay. Let's go. I might stop by the magic circle first. So that we can get our things. Yeah, 
let's kind of make it like a... Let's go out of order. Let's see if this will be okay. If the game will let us do it. Yo, man, you don't move, do you? Morning, Lester, isn't it? Good to see you again. You mentioned you're holding on to a book for me. Yeah, that's right, just a second. Here it is. A Skeptic's Guide to Magic. <gasps> By Professor James Wallace. Wallace was a really interesting character. He just passed away a few years ago. He was an astrophysicist, got interested in magic later in his life. His fellow scientists said he must have gone a little bit batty in his old age. He created a whole new approach to magic based on his knowledge of quantum theory. Quantum magic? <laughs> yeah, everything sounds cooler if you put the word quantum in front of it, right? Problem is, nobody ever really took his studies all that seriously. He was an outcast in both the scientific and the magical communities. It's kind of sad, really. There are some pages missing. Yeah, about that. There were some spells in there which could be a tad dangerous in the hands of an amateur. I guess Fee doesn't think you're ready for them, so she asked me to hold on to those pages. Good to know how little faith she has in me. Hey, there's still some really nice spells in there. I'll tell you what, I won't charge you full price. How's that sound? Seems fair enough. Mind if I stay here and read it for a bit? Be my guest. Alright, what do we got here? As Crowley said, science is always discovering odd scraps of magicalism and making tremendous fuss about the discoveries. The line between science and sorcery is purely a question of semantics, for I am scarcely the first scientist to have been accused of practicing witchcraft. Magic like science is merely an attempt to influence the unseen forces of the part of the universe, it's arcane province which we should call the shadow reality. Yeah, it sounds a bit bad to me. Hmm, Professor Wallace had a lot of crazy ideas, but the really crazy thing is how many of them make sense to me. Ooh, new spells have been unlocked. New items are available for purchase uh, to purchase from the shops. Cool. What can I buy over here? How am I gonna get money? I'm just spending all my money, but how do I get more? What can I buy? I'm gonna buy everything. Aha! Saltpeter, yes. Saturnid cocoon, yes. Fortunately, these are all very cheap. It'd be funny if I had just the perfect amount of money for all these things and never have to make any money. I'm just gonna get all the things I can. Do it all. Do these things really work? Gods, no. Do you think I'd sell them if they did? I don't have anything to do with voodoo either. Kids seem to love them though. One of my best sellers. Cool. Amber fossil? That's pretty sweet actually. Alright. That's all for now. Alright, mate. Let's go to Belladonna. hell's with this music? It was all nice when we got there, now it's like creepy as we leave. Is this the right address? It doesn't look like any sort of shop to me. What is this obvious thing sitting here? Hmm, someone dropped a pair of pruning shears. I'm sure they won't be missed. And there's a dog or a cat running around. It's a brown cat. How's it going? Oh, can I take it? I can offer it an item. I think it'll like dog treats. I doubt the cat would want that. All right. I wouldn't be shocked if I had to give the cat something at some point. I'm fairly sure this is mugwort. Okay. I really should take a look at all these things. Lily. It's a water lily. I'm sure we can only grab things as we need them, but let's just take a look. And then, that's nothing. What's the one up here? It looks to be the same as this one, but let's just make sure that... Okay. This cat is wandering the streets. Bella, we have a customer! I could use your help, dear sister. Your sister is dead! Your wanton cruelty have finally done her in! Oh, well that is a terrible shame. The customer in question is a rather handsome fellow. My dearly departed sister would have liked him.
Well met, dark stranger. Good morning. I beg you please pay no mind to my sister's silly horseplay. Sadly, her advancing years have not bestowed upon her the accustomed maturity, as you can see. Whereas Bella is the very model of a well-cultivated gentlewoman. Shut up, Donna. Anyway, what can I do for you, good sir? I'm here to ask some questions. Please ask away. I have reason to believe that a lad named Jason might have come here to buy herbs recently. A friend of his, are you? Let's say we have some friends in common. You are a wizard yourself, then. For it is not our custom to reveal certain secrets to those outside the craft. I suppose you could say I'm a wizard. Newly minted. No offense, but I'm not sure that I believe you. How am I supposed to prove it? They didn't exactly give me a business card. Oh, I know. You could give us a demonstration. I would love to see those strong hands of yours working some magic. That's an excellent idea. Why don't you work a spell for us? Uh, right. Any particular spell you'd like? Hmm. Fix that! Bella? What? Repair spells are elementary. Uh, I expect you will need time to prepare and gather your supplies, wizard. Don't worry, we'll be right here. Oh, okay. Just like that, we're... So, I need to find... This one triggers the effects of accelerated atomic reconstruction. I need plantain leaves, silicon grease, and lettuce. Anything else here I could do? Okay, so... Plantain leaves, silicon grease, lettuce. Where the F? Let's look around here. Do you guys have those things, by chance? Hmm, interesting herbs. What is it? I've never even heard of most of these herbs. Well, how about you... Can we buy them? Ah, perfect. Plantain leaves. Uh, silicon something or other. I don't see it here. And what was the last thing? <laughs> uh, lettuce, right? Yeah, I don't see that here either. I will buy the other things that I need apparently need, because once you buy one thing, you're done forever. It's kind of weird, actually. But I like to just have everything up front, ready to go. So I need to... S oh, there's some silicone jars over there. If I could just take one of them, that'd be fantastic. And then I just need lettuce. Okay, let's talk to her a little bit. How long have you had the shop? Bella and I inherited this place from our mothers, as a matter of fact. I suppose you could say we were born and bred for the herbalist trade. That's why they named you Bella and Donna. You're a sharp one, aren't you? Tell me about your sister. Oh, I would stay away from her if I were you. She will eat you alive if you're not careful. Literally? I wouldn't put it past her. There was this one fellow. Never mind, it's a boring story anyway. I'll be back. Wonderful. Empty jars for potions, probably. Take one, damn it. This place is definitely well stocked. So, can we just grab lettuce and the other thing? Are we done? I wonder what these concoctions are, he keeps saying over and over to himself. Like a nimbusil. Nimbusil or an imbecile or a nimwit? A nimbusil is a nimwitted imbecile. This place, yeah, okay. Definitely well stocked. It smells suspicious. What can I do for you? What are you brewing over here? Ah, uh, this is my very own virility potion. Is your true love all limp and flaccid? Try arginine amino acid. Horny goat weed buttercup. Also get his flagpole up. <laughs> do you need any? No. Good to know. Tell me about your sister. Bah! I don't want to talk about her. She thinks she's the boss of me, but she's not. She's not! You two have a difficult relationship, then? Whatever gave you that impression? Alright, I'll leave you to your toil and trouble. Come back anytime, handsome stranger. Is this lettuce? Yeah, okay, I'm not trying to go there. Nice plant. God damn it, plant. 
Looks fairly smashed, all right. Okay. I presume I can't walk back here. No customers back here, thank you. Homemade fragrance soaps. Indeed, I have been manufacturing those for some months now. It is not excessively difficult. Some water, a few ounces of lye, two pounds of fat. Does the fat come from your thighs, sweet sister? But there is surely an abundance of it! Ananke, give me strength. <laughs> I kind of like these two. <laughs> okay, so. We need... Wait. Yeah, we don't want deconstruction. Okay, we need silicon grease, lettuce... Um, I don't think any of these will help us too much. Oh, I'm almost here. But I think I need silicone grease and lettuce. Alright, let's do a little look around. I'm really sure this is mugwort. Can I take it? I think I'll cut it with something. Let me cut it with my crescent knife. Okay. Collecting things now. Got Lily. Can't walk across that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um. Yeah, I don't think I have anything for the cat. So. Where can we go? I could go check up on the sisters. Let's go see what's happening over here. So I'm not really sure where I'm going to get other things. Let's go back to the forest. That would be my next guess. The forest. See if there's anything there. Oh, just knock, damn it. Alright, let's check the forest. The silicone thing will be difficult, I think, because I'm not 100% sure. That could be anywhere. It could literally be anywhere. But lettuce, though. Does anyone have, like, a garden somewhere? I'm just gonna take all this shit. Oh, is that it? Can't go back back there anymore. I don't have something for every like I don't have all the ingredients for any one thing, so let's keep uh, looking around. Garden somewhere. So I feel like back here. feel like we should be able to... Like, if we just ask, we should be able to find these things, you know? So this was the order we were supposed to do anyway, so let's just see if there are these items that we need now. Maybe they became unlocked. I don't know. Nothing here would even help us if I could purchase it, so... Oh, I stuck for a second. Weird. Hmm. I might have to wander around. There's nowhere to go outside of here, right? This would be my... Let's see, I haven't explored fully. Can I go to the edges here? No. Hmm. I really just want to make sure that they don't just have it here and I'm being an idiot. If you guys gave me the ingredients, I could just do it right now. It'd be really fast and quick. Yeah.
So let's do a quick once-over of the rest of the places, and if I can't figure it out, then uh, I quit and I shut down my YouTube channel. Yeah, just, I don't know, like... Oh, the sandwich, God damn it! <laughs> okay. Hmm, damn good tea. What, where did that leave us with? Empty thermos. Okay, fine, but what about the sandwich? Hmm, the sandwich has lettuce, which is an ingredient for the spontaneous regeneration spell. Light the rest and save the lettuce. There we go. Okay, now with the spellcraft. Silicon grease. You feel like that would be here, right? What's in my inventory? Silicon grease. Don't quite actually know what that is. Why do I still have this? <laughs> yeah, right. I should, like, n look up what that is. I don't know what that is. Hmm. I mean, I'm actually, this is gonna be weird, but I'm gonna pull up, uh... <laughs> Here we go. Silicon grease. Silicone grease, whatever. Dielectric grease. Waterproof grease made by combining silicon oil with a thickener. Most commonly, the silicon oil is polydimethyl silicon, whatever. So it's. Silicon oil with a thickener. Oh! So I. Okay, so. Something salt lubricant, but silicon oil. Liquid polymerized siloxane with organic side chains, whatever. Um, commercial interest because of their relative high thermal stability and their lubricating, lubricating properties. Yeah, I'm not sure if that helps. Oh, wait. Oh, I could just scroll over here and just look? I do have to walk around, but I was never able to click on that. Is it that time already? Oh, this is interesting. I'd... We belong together. Pulmonary humor. It's a microscope. Oh my god. I should I should just use this mouse from now on. <laughs> what am I doing? Magnifying lens. So Okay. I don't have the silicon grease. That's what I have to figure out. How do I make silicon grease? Hmm. Look at this. This is interesting. So I should... Ooh, fire extinguisher. I should check to see if I can hover over anything that's on the wall. Safety first. Alright, I was using keyboard. Now we're gonna use the mouse. A lot of dark stuff. Ayo. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to combine things, but I'm not 100% sure on how to do that. What's in here? Can I take anything? Why not? Samples. Specimens. Hmm. Something. It's gonna be something. One of my spells does call for blood. Ew, oh my god. Boiled blood. 
Okay, this is really helpful. I should have done this a long time ago. What is this? Take the chair? Oh, no. Okay. Alright, let's go. Alright, I think we're gonna call it here, and we're gonna walk around with the mouse now. We're gonna figure out how to make this silicone grease. And we'll start here. I, I don't remember if our place at home has uh, a kitchen or a kitchenette. I don't think it does. But anyway, we'll keep looking. We'll figure this out. So that's the plan. Thanks for watching. I'll see you then. Or I'll see you later. Next time. Whatever. Take care. Goodbye.